One of the reason Twitter Bootstrap is so useful is because of their excellent, excellent documentation. So whenever people make these awesome frameworks or libraries, they tend to leave out their documentation and explain how to do it. Bootstrap actually does a really fantastic job of how to fully use it. So we have our get started, which is really good at explaining exactly how to set it up. We have CSS, which lays out a whole bunch of different ways to use Bootstrap in your CSS to make your page fully responsive. We have components, which we'll get to in a second, and there's JavaScript. So let's go into components really quickly and check this out. So we have some glyph icons, we have input groups and button groups and all this stuff. What I want to show you today is one really simple thing that you can use to make a nav bar. So we'll just click on navs here like we did. We have a few options. There's the tabs nav bar. There's the pills. You have a few other ones here with justified and they just kind of keep going down the list. We even have more complicated nav bars as well. Ones with drop downs and search boxes and all this stuff. I'm just going to start with the most basic one, the tabs. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm just going to paste it right in here. And I'll save it. When we open up and refresh our page, then it just pops up right away. Now it's not working right now because it's actually trying to take us to a different page. So let's go ahead and create those separate pages so we can navigate to them. So let's make a profiles.html and a messages.html. So I'm just going to include the link right in here first to minimize all of this stuff. We're just going to right click here on our main folder, choose new file, and we'll save it as profiles.html. We'll save it right there. We'll create another one and call it messages.html. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to do command A for a Mac or control A for a PC and just grab it all in and paste it into each one. Now there's one quick thing we need to change here. One, we need to change this to index.html on all of these pages. And then also here, so on the index.html page, we have a class of active. That's what lets this whole thing just highlight around it. It also changes the color. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move that active class to profiles here on the profiles.html. We'll save it. And then we'll change it to messages here on messages.html. So remember, this will match up here. So messages.html, that's where you want active to be. Profiles.html, that's where you want active to be. So now that it's saved and I refresh, and if I click on profiles, it switches over. And you can see that the path changes to profiles.html. Same thing with messages. It changes to messages.html. So in about like 60 seconds, we basically created a nav bar and created separate pages for us to navigate to. So it's really easy and straightforward to do that. And Twitter Bootstrap just makes it that much faster.